Speaking of insane, Don Lemon, CNN. The police are identifying the shooter as a trans woman, would actually be a trans man. So there's sort of a misidentification there, but this is all new. I'm just wondering, the identity of being a transgender person and also being identified as a woman, does this pose any sort of difference or difficulty for the for police? Because it's not typically a woman, regardless of how they're identifying. So there are a couple yeah. of things here that are different and that we are going to have to talk about and, and delve into. Right. So each of these cases is always going to have a particular difference, right? Whether it's uh, uh, someone is angry at their father or someone had something happen at the school. And this is a unique case, and we have to be sensitive about it to the extent that Audrey Hale identified as a woman. We do not see mass shooters uh, who are female, especially in particular school shooting uh, murderers. Those, that is, that is, uh, uh, this is actually, I think, the first time that I can remember. Okay, do you see how they're so focused on the wrong thing and how they are making, they're basically running cover for a trans ideology because if this was a Muslim that went into a church and shot Christians, nobody would be like, oh, we better figure this out. Everyone would be, and and probably correctly, uh, well, first off, I would still say there's a mental health issue because, again, if you kill innocent people, there's a mental health issue there. But we would be able to maybe connect this to a religious ideology and there would be a certain amount of people, by the way, people on the right, who then would be unjustly prejudiced against Muslims. If a Christian shooter went into a Jewish synagogue or a Jew went into a mosque, right, we would be able to cl- somewhat clearly connect these things. But in this one, we better not misgender this person. Is it a trans man or a trans woman? This has never happened before. We should be very careful, blah, blah, blah as opposed to focusing on the real victims, the way they talk about it. The victim here is the, is the shooter. The victim here is the shooter, you know, because, you know, the Daily Wire is in Nashville and, uh, you know, somebody misgendered this guy or this gal. Insane, absolutely insane.